Mr. Jones, how do you vote? I vote no. Uh, Mr. All the others in favor, signify by raising your hand. Mr. Tucker, Mr. Gardner, Mr. Burns, and opposed here is Mr. Prizel. Uh, Mr. Prizel and Mr. Jones are uh, in the negative, Mary, so we had the vote and motion passes three to two. Hello folks, welcome to the Kershaw County Liberty Report. This is an idea that me and Jeff came up with just a few weeks ago. There's an obvious lack of integrity in our uh, the reporting. And hell, there just isn't any reporting on what's actually happening in our county government and around Kershaw County. There's the Camden Chronicle, Matthew. The Camden Comical, yeah, <laughs> as everybody refers it to. Yeah, like Martin <laughs> Kahn does yeah. all the reporting. So I, I have it right here. I mean, I'm a, I'm a uh, patron, I guess you would say, of them. Um, so what's on the show, Matt? Today, what we're going to discuss is the uh, final county council meeting of 2022. The end of the era of the Julie Burns. Yeah. Good riddance. What to do Julie you Burns. call that? His reign of the terror. The reign of terror. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Here's the thing about Julian Burns that I, we can talk about real quick. I think that he honestly feels like he's doing the right thing for this county. I think I, in his heart of hearts, he feels like he was doing the right thing. I think he does. I really do. And that just shows how corrupt that man is and down to his bones well the the uh the whole thing is is that uh the progressives mm -hmm. uh, this whole progressive area era for the last 110 120 years yeah since before woodrow wilson even uh ha has been this this government daddy government daddy government daddy thing yeah where we all get dependent on it and all, mm -hmm. and government is supposed to do uh, build parks, build, uh, uh, control the economy, mm -hmm. yeah. um, pick and choose yeah. winners and losers, um, and it doesn't matter about principles of debt or no. or in, uh, being. Uh, True to your principles of not stealing and, and there really and all are that. no principles anymore. There, there are, are no principles in it, government. It, it, <laughs> it's the Marxist theory of uh, the ends justify the means. Right. And so, like a hospitality tax, mm -hmm. the ends are that we're going to build sport complexes and and revolutionary war parks and mm -hmm. and swamp parks, and it's going to draw tourism. And everybody's going to prosper from it, right. and it doesn't matter that you're going to steal from everybody, and and it doesn't matter the unintended consequences, the businesses that are hurt by it, or or any of that. Yeah, that that's what Marxism is, and the the tyranny by inches. You know, they they they're going to move forward an inch at a time, and um, when we start to squeal. They're going to take an inch back. They'll say, okay, we'll step back two inches. Yeah. I mean, they've already come a half a mile by the time <laughs> people start squealing. The tiptoe to tear. Tiptoe to tear. There you go. Um, also, we're going to talk about things discussed in the meetings. Uh, we're kind of going to do a, a pre meeting show and maybe a post meeting show. Yeah. And some other stuff in between. Um, the, the issues that affect uh, the people of Kershaw County. Right. Um, it, it, what gov what your local government is doing, but what your state and federal government and sure. in fact, indeed, what the world government is going to do to you that's going to affect you. Yeah. You know why? Why are the price of everything at Food Line going up? Yeah. Well, that's not really uh, a minutia that that the county council might handle. Yeah. But it is at the Federal Reserve and Congress spending $38 billion over there in Ukraine and all. Right. That and affects us. That's a macro level. And, and right. what I like to focus on is the micro level 
and that um, what happens here in our county, in our local county government, you could expand that out and on a global scale and say, oh, well, the World Economic Forum is controlling property. They want to control property and what you eat, what you spend your money on, or if you say the wrong thing, they'll turn your cryptocurrency off and you can't buy food this month. This yeah. Week. Yeah. All right. So, and the whole world's headed toward a social credit system, absolutely, which is coming here. Australia and, and the start close. of it. The start of it uh, was the Real ID Act. That's it. Yeah. Which I don't have the real. ID. I don't have the real ID either. I know They're a lot like, of people. You know, people you won't be do. able to fly on a plane. I'm like, oh, that's a crying shame. Well, well I'm not flying I'm not on a plane and get felt up anymore. I'm gonna go get molested by TSA <laughs> and fly some. I love this country. Why would I want to go anywhere else? Um, <laughs> So things we're going to discuss today, the fee in lieu of taxes debate, um, the Revolutionary War debt that were found, the sewer ta uh, debt that we took on, um, I think that's about it. Um, you got anything else to add to this intro, Jeffy? Well, also, maybe the, the uh, Julie Burns goodbye. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll say goodbye to Maybe Mr. to close, close the show out, we can get Julie Burns' version of what went on, and yeah. then mm -hmm. we can get our version. That's right. I was there at the meeting. You were there. And then there was the, the boys from the Viet, uh, American Legion. You had the uh, DNR, the Bass, the, the, it's... What ba they did this big long study on Watery on Lake Watery about why the ba why nobody can catch bass out there. Come to find out, y'all just need to be better bass fishermen. There's plenty of fish in there. The guy was like, "I guess they need to change their lures or something." I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, so, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's get started. Let's do it. So I guess what we'll, what we'll do is we'll go kind of in chronological order. We're going to kind of skip the public comments. Matt, your public comment, War in the Racket. If you hadn't gone back and watched that one, that one was wonderful. But well, Matt got up at the public hearing. I figured I'm not even going to bother, but Matt's got a good little speech. Let's listen to this just a minute. I'm here to speak out against the policy of a fee in lieu of taxes in general. Um, as a small business owner myself, I think the last thing I would do would go to the government and ask for money or a break. Um, this company was established here in South Carolina. I think it was incorporated in 2021. I've been looking and trying to find out some information about this company. Um, it was a little hard to find. Uh, they're owned by another another group, by, owned by another group and that sort of stuff. That's kind of how business is done, I guess, these days with multi-million dollar corporations. Um, I'm glad the building, that, that empty building is getting filled up with somebody. It's been sitting up there, bought and paid for by the tax dollars of, of Kershaw County citizens. I'm glad somebody bought it and moved in. That's Hopefully they hire people from Kershaw County, but there's no telling with that. I mean, they probably need some qualified individuals coming from somewhere else. Um, this ties in with my last comment about war is a racket. I think one of, from what I found, one of their biggest customers is the U.S. government for polymers and frames for weapons. Um, so this is, is pretty ironic that they are the ones who came here to Kershaw County, signed this deal with the, uh, the boondoggle up on the hill. Um, I'm just excited about the new council coming in. Hopefully we'll have a change of policy on the fee in lieu of taxes that we will um, stop selling ourselves out and keep our county rural as all of us love it, us citizens. We want it to stay rural, so thank you. What yeah. do you think? I think you did a good jam up job. Yeah, Some they just uh, camp, you know, on the fly. I didn't know what I was going to say when I went up there, but it just seems, uh, what's the word, apropos, that uh, our outgoing chairman is part of the military industrial complex, and he pushed so hard for this company specifically to move into that building to get this philo. Well, we um, remember for he was instrumental. Him and Sammy were instrumental in building that spec Absolutely. building to begin to with. Begin with, yeah. And it sat on that hill and it had been criticized. It's known as the tomb mm -hmm. or the boondoggle yeah. uh, and all that. So, mm -hmm. it, it, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bittersweet, right? But like, I'm glad somebody bought the building and is moving in to do business here in Kershaw County. Great. But the way that we went about it was so scummy 
that it's hard to be happy about this company. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it feels like a dirty deed yeah. done dirt cheap. <laughs> exactly. <doesn't it? laughs> yeah. And we lost $1.7 million on this deal. Yeah. Now, this Orion Compounds is a subsidiary. Well, what they'll do, let me, let me, Orion Compounds is a company. They spun off this other smaller company to just do the polymers, this special polymer, right? Right. That they're, only customer is going to be this parent company right and co businesses do this all the time and it saves they can uh, depreciate their assets a lot better and yep. uh, accounting books and and uh, also like this fee in lieu the fee in lieu always uh goes with just the property just the property and, and, and that's what your fee is based on six percent of the property value yeah and then everything that you put on that property is non-taxable right so exactly. they they're gonna put put 13 million dollars was it or well the paper and uh, the chronicle independent said they invested over 13 million dollars no that's what they promised that they were going to invest they've invested a little over eight million all right, so they bought the building, and they've got about $8 million invested so far. Right, D um, making improvements inside the building and, mm -hmm. and whatever outside I the mean, building. You put to put in a damn equipment. floor in there. There was no floor. Yeah. It was just dirt. Yeah, it was inside. a dirt floor. Um, so they're building it to suit their business and their manufacturing Right, prices. right. And you can understand that, but uh, it, sure. the, the point is that, that they're going to be, the fee is based on just that bottom line of the raw land. The and actual, the sale value, the value of the land. And if you go on to GIS, which I did, it's valued at, I think, like $244,000 or something crazy. Yeah. Well. And so their fee is going to be like twenty grand. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's nothing. Whereas a, a small business... When you go and put furniture in your business, mm -hmm. uh, it's taxed. The Absolutely. painting on the walls, uh, you, say you're a screen printer or something, all your right. printing uh, machinery and everything is taxed and all. The thing that they don't say is a user fees. So the water that they're going to use in the sewer, right? Are they paying user fees on either of them? They never mention that. Yeah. And you have to read the fine print of the contract and I, which I did read the whole entire contract. I didn't see anything in there about water or sewer fees. What about fire? Nothing about fire. Yeah, you know, they, one of the things that Lugoff Fire was talking about is the amount that they get from Target doesn't even cover one fireman. That's right. And they make a, a minimum five calls a week out there. Yeah. So the, the fee and lieu agreement, it's a screw job. Yeah, it's a screw job. <laughs> That's all it is. It's basically it's, it's bribery to get businesses to open up here. Yeah. Now these now, jobs, be fair. Every county uh, in the nation does yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the fifty-four jobs that they promise that they say we're up to fifty-four jobs, right? Twenty-five dollars an hour. So that means the guy who's mopping the floors is going to get twenty-five dollars an hour. No. What they did was average the salaries out. Yeah. And yeah. so it's an average of twenty five dollars an hour. But you're gonna have some engineers in there making a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Or more. Yeah. So, or more. You know. Um the maintenance guys who are gonna be maintaining the equipment will be making a lot more than the people operating the equipment yeah. because the people who operate are, are replaceable. Yeah, and I would assume that most of it uh the production is going to be automated. I would imagine so. And that you're you're yeah. Technicians are going to be coming in from other places. Yeah, they travel. And, yeah, probably traveling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably out of those fifty-four, you can you can bet at least twenty of them are going to be in the office. You know, as far as we'll say engineering and, and administrative, you got to have HR, you have to have some safety people, and all that sort of stuff. And then maybe another five janitorial and then you have the maintenance crew so actual yeah. operators you you may have 15 to 20 yeah yeah you yeah. might you might see 10 or 15 jobs maybe mm -hmm. coming in because mm -hmm. of uh, uh the war in ukraine <laughs> and yeah. yeah and the question that i i brought up on wis when um andy came oh that's right and <laughs> uh matthew <laughs> is a star yeah, well, yeah, he TV got on stuff. big TV. Yeah. On big TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, the question I brought up was, how many of these jobs are skilled labor? How many unskilled labor? 
of those skilled labor jobs, do we have a workforce ready to move in here in Kershaw County? Now they'll tell you, oh yeah, we have the Woolard Technology Center. We're building, we're 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 training up a, a skilled workforce every day. Like yeah, it. yeah, that's what they try to tell you. You know, Come and on. every uh, they do little, dog grooming down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, they they teach welding and they teach sure, uh, yeah, they're these kind of things and, like that. And, yeah, and they teach computer program and all. Mm-hmm. But guess what? So does uh, down there in Charleston, and so does up there in Greenville, Midland and State. so does Bob's, and so does Arkansas, and so so does everybody. Everybody. Yeah. And you know what it is, though? It's, uh, it's putting the cost of apprenticeship, which it's not really apprenticeship, it's mm-hmm. just training. Yeah. Uh, they're putting the cost on the public absolutely and instead of the corporation mm-hmm. where it used to be and then you got the biden bucks too the federal government oh yeah yeah you know, biden book they, they say well because of coronavirus now we're going to pay your tuition to go to tech schools yeah yeah well it's tech it's free here anyway it's free, free, yeah, free. It's free. <laughs> so yeah that was my point you know i i said very clearly i'm speaking out against the policy of fee in lieu of taxes yeah you know, there's nothing. That, the vote was already. It's had the principle. Before. It's the principle of equality, and it, 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 if if you're well, going to if here. you're going to steal, you yeah. need to do it in a, a fair, fair way. way. Let's steal from everybody. <laughs> yeah, steal from everybody. Another thing I brought with way. Andy that didn't make it onto that that little segment was, if if I'm a small business owner, let's say I wanted to open a brewery up there, do you think I could have gotten a filo? You think I could have gotten a few little I taxes? think that's a two million dollar uh, minimum. It's a yeah. There's a it's you a have certain to, dollar amount investment. And, and then and then I think it's six and, million dollars. And then I think amount. that it has to be in uh, one of their industrial parks. Right. So you have to yes. Yeah. And and you know there's been several times when they've moved to. Uh, uh, make an industrial park just to give just uh, somebody a, a, a fee and loop. Yeah, like the turkey, uh, the turkey, turkey barn. barn. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Same thing. You know, Prest Edge Farms is going to yeah. give us all these wonderful turkey slaughtering jobs. Man. Um, so, yeah. So that was that was it. Hopefully, with the next the incoming council, we can address this issue of fee lows, fee and lieu of taxes that we can. Um, you know, I'm all for everybody getting a tax break for sure. I'm but for you, a tax. Give, I'm for a fair tax. Fair zero tax. zero. That's the only thing that's fair. That's only the, yeah. And you, maybe a flat tax, and we can talk about uh, that. But uh, uh, flat, you know, it's flat on one side. The rest of it's inflated. You know what they do? <laughs> you know what they do? They, they'll say, "Well, we're taking away a tax," mm-hmm. and then they'll sneak around and put a fee here and a fee there oh, and a fee, of fee, which, fee. Do you want to discuss this real quick for the Camdenites? Oh. Um, which you this said. just in? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the. Um, the city of Camden had their council meeting, the city meeting, and they're going to drop the fuel surcharge from five cents per kilowatt hour to one and a half cents per kilowatt hour. Uh-huh. So in this article here, Jeffrey Graham broke his, literally broke his arm, patting himself on the back, saying, I saved you all this money after he's the one that caused this bullshit in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, you know, typical slumlord politician. Uh, well, he, he's Not a progressive, too. Yeah. Um, I love Jeffrey, but he's a damn socialist. But you know the thing that they are not talking about in here? Um, They said, we've been watching the cost of natural gas, so when the projected price for January dropped from $18 to $13, that's the signal I needed to lower the purchase power adjustment. Okay, so you remember that user fee that they ever given? Yeah. Uh, Like a, uh, it was another, there's two fees, right? You had the user fee, and then there was another thing. So they're like, oh, we're going to drop this thing, and you just pay your kilowatt per hour. But now that they're adjusting that kilowatt per hour down to one and a half, that other thing's coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> and y'all, I'm telling you, ask ask your city councilman. I'm guaranteed that's what's coming. Call call Stephen Smoke, call Jeffrey Graham, call Rory, uh, John Rory. I don't know who else is on that council anymore. What's well, who's the Boykin? mayor? Boykin? Who's the mayor? Drake? Yeah, but that's a weak mayor, so she don't. That's a weak mayor system. She doesn't. She really still got control. a vote. Yeah, does she? I thought she was just a tie-breaking vote. I think she votes. Either too. way, yeah, call her too. 
hell, go in there. Use the open door policy for Mr. Rory. Go ask him. See if I'm wrong. Um, but that's a case of like, watch this hand bait and while switch. the other hand's doing something different. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bait and switch. That's, that's one of the oldest tricks in the book. It's kind of like the Inflation Reduction Act. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What's next, Jeff? All right, so next we got the the agenda debate. Okay. Right. And, you know, right at the beginning, a little background, uh, the original meeting was scheduled for the regular Tuesday. Right. And Julie Burns found out he couldn't have a, didn't have a quorum. There wasn't going to be enough people there. Yeah. You, you have to have uh, four people there. Four people, right. And, and so he scrambled around, and then well, he called him. The reason why they couldn't get a quorum, uh, Brant Tomlinson had a, a trip out of, out of the country planned before he was appointed by the governor to his seat that he won. Uh, so he took, he took that seat early, but he already had this trip planned. Jimmy Jones was sick with the flu, and um, Russell Brazel was on a hunting trip. On a business, a business, business trip, trip to, to South Dakota. South Dakota to look at a, a big saw that they're going to put in to the building that they're building for the under the fee and lieu agreement right. too. Right. So that left three councilmen not present for the meeting. Ben Connell resigned his seat at the last meeting because he was elected to the House of Representatives, the State House, whatever you want. So to it left Sammy. Uh, Tom Gardner and Julie Burns right. would have been sitting there by themselves. Yeah. And they wouldn't have been able to form a quorum Correct. and open a meeting. Right. So they were scrambling trying to figure out when they could do it. The the level-headed people in the, on that conversation were saying, let's do it next week. Let's just do it next Tuesday at 530. No, we need to do it now. How about 10 a.m. Thursday? Right? And so immediately when I saw that, I called Danny Templer. I called Mary I said, is the council chambers booked for 5.30 on Thursday? And they're, oh, I don't know. I have to check the schedule. I have to see. We'll see. We'll see. And I'm like, hey, what I, I texted Jimmy Jones. He finally texted me back before the meeting. There's nothing scheduled for 5.30 on Thursday. So the question is, why did they have to do this at 10 o'clock in the morning? And why did they have to do it as quickly right. as possible? The same week. And I'll tell you why. Because of this sewer, this sewer shit, they went into an executive session. We're we gonna talk about that later. Is that on the list? No, I don't. They have wanted it on to go the into list. this executive session because they were gonna get sued by Great Southern Homes, who wants to build 431 houses. Listen up, people. 431 houses on McCord's Ferry Road off 601, on the south end of I-20. It's gonna be. So the uh, planning and zoning rejected it, 431 houses, rejected it, saying we can't handle this kind of growth. You're going to come build all these houses. We don't have anywhere for these kids to go to school, the sewers, all this sort of stuff. Great Southern Home says, well, we, we met all your requirements according to your economic development plan. We met all your requirements. So we're According to whose economic development plan? Julie Burns. Julian Burns, Sammy Tucker, and Tom, Tom Gardner, Gardner. Which was soundly rejected during the primaries. Yeah. The people did not want that shit. So they, were, they went to executive session, hey, they're going to sue us. How about we settle for 391 homes instead of 431? And that's what happened. Now you're going to get 391 of Great Southern Homes fine construction built <laughs> off 601 and this this neighborhood stretches from 601 where mccord's ferry crosses all the way over to highway 12. all the way to principal <clears throat> road so where did we hear that before i highway 12 and, and fort jackson road mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's where the southern loop is right where the pipe needs to be oh and, and that's kind of interesting well, we can't handle the pump state we need a pump station to handle more so now they're going to build 40 homes because that's all that can be handled on that sewer <coughs> the They're 40 homes phases. right now until the right. new the southern loop is complete. complete and when mm -hmm. the southern loop is complete and they build yeah, out we complete. will be over capacity right. and the sewer system <clears throat> so here's how it works the piping is done we paid two million something dollars 2.3 million dollars to get that done we paid cash it's done 
So now, with that increased flow capacity, because you, inside of a pipe you have what's called friction loss, when the water is passing through the inside of that pipe, it creates friction, right? But when you open up that pipe, you can have more gallons per minute flowing through there. Right. <clears throat> so with that increased gallons per minute, now it's putting a strain on the Judy pump station, which is only a, I think, two or three hundred gallon per minute pump. So now, of course, we got to upgrade the pumping station, right? So we upgrade the pumping station. What do you have to do beyond that? Yeah. You've got to increase the diameter you, of the pipe again. You've got to go all the way down, uh, to come the, down 601, mm -hmm. head to down latch cut, latch cut, up cut across, mm -hmm. and hit the, the uh, sewer treatment plant That's right. Which up is Highway up. 5. So now the sewer treatment plant, which the capacity went down because uh, Fukushima, not Fukushima, <laughs> that's the nuke plant, uh, Okmitsui, or who is that down there? The Japanese company. South Carolina, right? Utaka. Huh? Utaka? You talk I don't know what it is called now. So it's a Japanese name, Japanese owned company. They make like seat belts yeah. for cars and shit. Yeah. Um, but they're cutting their capa their usage down. So there's less water flowing through the pipes. All right. Now we're going to add 40 homes up to 391, which is going to increase the volume inside that pipe, which will over overburden that Judy pump station. So they're going to need a, a higher GPM pump gallons per minute then we're gonna have to increase the diameter of the pipe beyond that to handle that pump so we don't have a log jam right there I guess log you could you know pun intended <laughs> <laughs> um, and now it's gonna go on to the water treatment plant which is already at 80 percent 80 percent according to DHEC and the EPA is is maxed out because if you have heavy rains and flooding you need to allow for more water to be flown into the sewer systems yeah okay so we're going to add another, uh, you could buy the whole package, the treatment tank, right? Four million gallons per day. But if you buy one, what I was told, you might as well just go ahead and buy two because you're going to fill that one up, so you're going to hopefully get a discount and get up it, right? To yeah. Now that we're what, 16 what million gallons. Basically, is it's happening is... This county council has got us into a bind. Follow the, you just, but, all you have to see is look at the dominoes falling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The and, Southern and Loop Project, the neighborhoods moving in, increasing the, the, the flow, increasing the uh, volume. So you need a pump, new pump that, to handle that volume. Now, in order to push it past that pump, you need a greater diameter pipe. And now it's going to be. We understand. Uh, that part we understand. But what, what led up to this in the first place mm -hmm. is when Julie Burns came in in 2015. Yeah. And when, when they uh, started with this vision 2030, mm -hmm. 2020, and then, yeah, then push 30, 2030. 2030. Right. Uh, and the Council of Governments got involved mm -hmm. where they just want all the growth that they can get. Yes. In spite of what they say in the vision of it, uh, of it is that they want to remain rural and all right. this kind that's of stuff. All, they don't. Right. No. They don't. Because government expands when there's roofs being built. That's right. There's more money coming in. That's right. Well, what are we going to do with all this money? We've got to spend it. We need to build more parks. Yeah. We, you more know what parks. We need is more. A, a, a tournament, a baseball tournament facility. Yeah. $14 million. Yeah. That's nothing. We'll pay for that. Yeah. And that's yeah. why it, this this next council is all about recreation. And as these houses are built. Where are they going to play soccer at, Jim? Yeah. We it, need you some know. soccer field. Well, it's for the kids. We need lights up so they can play at night. And then. You know, well, we need facilities for them to use bathrooms. Well, Jimmy Jones' long-time wet dream has always been to hold the Little League World Series. Mm -hmm. That's what he talked about when Westwater Reed, when he was pushing Westwater Reed. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, you got to listen to me now. Jimmy Jones, it was for great big West Walter Reed Park and, and baseball fields and all this kind of stuff. And then he doesn't like the, the uh, swamp park and he doesn't like the big building. But he's picking and choosing instead of going back down to the fundamental. Is this government's job? That's the question I asked. We, we're in the real estate business, real speculations, real estate speculation business, right? We're, we're buying up property and building spec buildings. And then we're also in the recreation business where we want to, we want 
to bring in baseball terms to make money for the county. And then what? I mean, what? Oh, we're in the transportation business now because we got the bus running, running. The trash business. The trash business, yeah, and the water. The we're in the protect, water, protection racket. Protection racket, yeah. Well, uh, so government continues to to either own or control the yeah. economy. And that's really, uh, you're electing these people and then you don't pay attention to what they do while they're in office. And this is what we're trying to do with this show is say, you have to pay attention to these people because if you don't pay attention to them, they're going to run roughshod over everything. They're going to just think, well, I'm elected, so I've got, I've got to do something. Yeah. Let's build a park. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it, it just blows my mind that three people, three people <laughs> can put yeah. all the people of Kershaw County into the, a $2.7 million debt. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it could have been a $50 million. Yeah. You see what this is all leading to is oh, a $50 yeah. million dollar sewer plant. Yeah. Absolutely. And because we said yes back in the early 90s, mm -hmm. the late 80s, early 90s, in a referendum to start a sewer company, yeah. they don't have to come to you no more. Mm -hmm. All they have to have is four people to form a quorum, they and three of those can borrow 50, 100, $100 million, as okay. much as our credit rating mm -hmm. will bear. And you can go to the county council meeting and scream all you want. All you want. They're going to have the sheriff drag you out of there, or they're going to shut it down and go to recess. And then when you calm down and start behaving yourself, they'll go back and vote that shit in, right in. Yeah, we need, okay. to, we need to have a referendum on any expenditure, any bond, any debt Definitely that is incurred. Oh, you know, uh, uh, do we really trust the voters, though? To, to uh, what else are you going to do besides uh, just ban the whole thing? Yeah, yeah that's an idea. Well, <laughs> you know me, <laughs> I'm an anarchist. Yeah. But how do you get there? Right. You got to cut government, and in order to do that, you got to put the chains on them. Mm -hmm. And boys and girls, we need to put the chains on these boys. I don't care who's in there. I don't care right. if it's, it's me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say, uh, I think we ought to borrow $50 million to build a sewer plant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I would rather that go in front of the, the voters mm -hmm. and a majority, and then I could say, well, they said no, or they said yes, and I wouldn't be blamed for the, the snafu, right. the unintended consequences that that's going to lead to. Right. And what people don't understand is if you expand the, the water treatment plant, it's like, what if you, uh, you know, throw a party, but nobody comes, right? So say they build this water treatment plant and they don't have the customers to justify the, that amount of gallons. You know what they're going to do is go to Richland County and say, hey, you give us some of that money, we'll take your shit and we'll, we'll, we'll clean it. Well, they'll make whatever dirty deal that they can. Oh, yeah. They're going to do because they're like, oh, my God, we're not profitable anymore. We need to make money. So a lot of people will say, well, we're making money every year. Okay, if we're making money every year, why the hell do we take out this damn loan? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, this is going to be another boondoggle, another scam ran on the people. Hopefully, this new county council, when they go in, they will do what they were elected to do. That's to undo what Julian Burns has been doing for the last eight years. To quit. To quit. Just stop this shit. Stop. Yeah. Pay off all our debts. Right. Save. Well, if you you're know, going to expand something, uh, uh, save your money. <clears throat> just and like, do your little expansion. Like when they first brought it, I said, who runs their household like this? Spends cash to pay for something, then goes out and get a loan to pay myself back. Mm -hmm. But then you're just paying interest on that money. You're, it's totally asinine. Well, and, and if this was a business... <laughs> you you might would borrow because this is going to uh, make you money, right? Uh, but but that's not really uh, government is that's not a true. business. Exactly. Government is a monopoly, a monopoly on force. It's a mafia. Yeah. Whether whether you got angels running the damn thing or devils running this thing, mm -hmm. it's a mafia. It it steals to get everything that it has, mm -hmm. and it forces people to do things. That's right. Al Capone would, yeah. you know, couldn't yeah. compete. And you know, a lot of people don't understand when we say that they, 
it's ruled by force, you know, like the tax system. You're stealing my money. Well, if you don't pay your taxes, eventually somebody's showing up with a gun and they're going to lock you in the cage. Yeah. Or kill you. Yeah. You know, depending yeah. on how hard you want to fight them. Yeah, so people justify it by saying, oh, I'm glad to pay taxes. It helps to poke people. Oh, my road. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got another clip to play? Uh, why don't we move on to uh, the sewer? All right. All right. <laughs> so, so we got the, the, the debate about the sewer and all stretched over into the auditor was there mm -hmm. with his auditing report. No findings. No mm -hmm. findings and everything's okay mm -hmm. and honky-dory right. and all. Well, Russell is still thinking about this sewer bond that he's going to vote on later on in the meeting. Yes, sir. And so uh, he starts to ask the auditor questions, mm -hmm. and this is what he says. Can we talk about um, specifically our sewer fund? It's an enterprise fund. I just want to walk through it real quick. Do you have time to? Sure. Um, I want to make sure I understand. We've got a $250,000 debit. What, what page are you on, Russell? Uh, 21. On page 21. We'll skip we can, we can, just as Mr. Tucker said, we can discuss that later. I'm real big on, we've got three funds, on, um, two are enterprise funds, and then Something was real we've got our general fund. That he brought up was that debit for $250,000. Yeah. So the auditor just got through saying there was no findings. Nothing was found to be out of order. Well, he was going to have then, to go back and see where that what that was. Well, you, and Russell said there's a there's a debit for $250,000 out of this enterprise fund that was moved to the general fund. Why, why was that done? They're not supposed to touch that money. And they are, well, I, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. And Danny Tempest, I don't know. That was before my time, and we'll see. And, um, and I'll tell you, I know for a fact that Jimmy Jones and the um, county administrator, they're looking into why that money was moved, who moved it, who authorized it. Um, <clears throat> that, to me, is a finding. That says something right there. So that was like, okay, well, we'll deal with that. Moving on, he yeah. Russell starts going into the different accounts and what, like, income. Uh, to, how they ought to be segregated yes. is what he's, he's making his point about. They have to be segregated. Yes. They should be segregated. Enterprise funds. Uh, yeah. 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 So just like EMS, they're, total, they're an enterprise fund. The money that they bring in from transporting people to the hospital and treating them, that's what funds the EMS service in this county. All right. It's just same with the sewer. The user fees are what fund the sewer, as it should be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm real big on those being independent and and capable of standing on their own two feet. Um, we got rid of the tax for the sewer. No, paid off the bond. Fund. So the the they paid off the bond. They didn't get rid of any tax. The bond was paid off. It was matured. They paid it off. So now those of us who don't have a sewer, aren't connected to the sewer, we're not paying for the sewer anymore. Right. Which to me was right. highway robbery. Right. Well, they, they passed an ordinance that did away with, with that right. payment and then switched to, a, switched to a user fee. Correct. Is what they did. But it, it, it was just, what it should it was the just because the bond... The original bond was paid off by us who don't even use the yeah, damn sewer. Yeah, it's not like Ju Julie reached in his pocket and did the damn thing, <laughs> which he wants everybody to. Yeah, think. yeah, yeah. That's his legacy, right? Public pays no tax; only the users uh, pay pay for the service. Um, I'd like to to make sure moving forward to be fiscally responsible that the revenues from from user fees and, and that sort of thing, stay in that fund. Um, it looks... Yeah, and, and, and let me, let, to, to your point, Councilman Brazel, let, let me show you that. If you look at above that where it says um, operating income uh -huh. of one point, almost $7 million for the sewer. Right. So your, your sewer fees come in at $4 million. Your total operating expenses were two point three. So you had a positive operating income of almost $1.7 million. So... I think that shows you that your fees are covering your cost. Right. 
right there. The fees are more than covering the cost. Yep. And actually, there's a $1.7 million profit every year. But we need to take out a $2.7 million loan from the state. You see where this isn't adding up? And and the cherry is, or the carrot is, 1.5 or 1.6 percent interest. Right. Oh, that's such a great interest rate. We can't pass this up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know how when you get a credit card, if you if you're dumb enough to use credit cards, but they say zero oh, percent interest, zero percent, zero percent. Miss one payment and watch what happens. Yeah. The next thing you know, you got twenty percent interest. Well, what's interesting is this one point six percent, right? Well, where did that money come from? Well, it come from the Fed, right? right? The Federal Reserve, actually. Right. And the government gets it. Well, now they're going to be paying 5%, mm -hmm. right? <coughs> Them boys up in the swamp going to rob you to pay 5% <laughs> yeah. while they loan the Kershaw County right. money for 1.5. So you're, they're throwing us crumbs to keep us quiet about them stealing from us and, and deflating our dollar. Yeah, and yeah, and central planning. That's, that's exactly what it is. Central and central planning. Straight out of Soviet Russia. Say, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. That's mm -hmm. the way this goes. So you have a $4 million income, $2.3 million worth of expenses every year. That's, you know, upkeep and salaries and whatnot, fuel. Right. $1.7 million profit. Well, that money just goes into the sewer fund. Right. That's why we've got $3.3 million. $3 million. So he says, here later on, are, are you going to get to it where he says recommended emergency yeah. funds? Yeah, okay, let's, 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 let's hit it and see what happens. So uh, to, to continue down that trail, <clears throat> I want to make sure that, that all capital projects and improvements that we make are, are funded um, through the, the sewer fund and nothing's uh, taken from anywhere else and I think that's definitely the case um, how much money do we have in the sewer fund in, in reserve status and does that uh, affect our total reserves the eight and a half million that we were just speaking of eight and a half million is just general funds so your okay. unrestricted reserves for sewer is 3.3 .3. that's on page 20 all right unrestricted funds meaning it's just extra money sitting in there Three point three million dollars. Yeah, eight million dollars. The, ca million the county has right overall. The sewer fund has three point three million. That's a big chunk of money, a percentage of that pie. Yeah, right? that's a big piece of yeah. The pie. All right, so that's, <laughs> uh, he's going to explain. Okay, so we have three point three million unrestricted in our sewer fund. That's Is that right. correct? Danny, do we have any projects that we need to pay for? Um, <laughs> Other than the bond revenue that's Man. that we're, we're voting on today? God bless Russell Bradzel for asking that question. Hey, I got to hand it to Russell here. That was great. Yeah, he, he, he He's asking the right question. Exactly. He knows the answer to that question. Yeah, he already that's knows. That's the way it should be done. You, you educate yourself on the matter you're going to speak on, and you ask questions that you already know the answer to. So that way, you can see who's lying. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can You're also put a, put them on the spot because you, you know point. you know what to bring up and put in the public mm -hmm. forum. Absolutely. I wish he would have turned to Julian Burns and asked him that question. That would have been the only way you could have made it better. <laughs> and, uh, so good you, job, <laughs> you and Julian Burns. Good job. Burns. Well, I would have liked to see him stumble and stutter a lot. Yeah. You know, I, I, well, I can't say that I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen. Uh, that'd be <clears throat> the uh, phase 2A of Southern Loop. Mm. What we're, um, but is there anything else? I mean, there, there's always going to be something that some of, part of the system is old and it, it you know, will have 30, 60 feet of line crumble. So there's, there's um, kind of these flash issues that come up. But as, as far as projects um, beyond the scope of uh, Southern Loop and the eventual upgrade that we'll need, What's the min What's the minimum? I'm sorry, Mr. Jones had something. Mr. Jones, did you have a comment? I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just saying also we have to look at expansion as well too. Yeah, yeah. Right. In the future, correct. Jimmy makes that point right there, the Absolutely. same point that we're making. Yep. 
we're adding this capacity, we're already at 80%. Which is max. Which is max, max according capacity. to the feds. Right. And uh, uh, if we're adding adding more and more, they're going back and looking for uh, uh, That's a 30, capacity. Like you said, it's a 35 to $50 million project to, yeah. to increase yeah. capacity. So they're the setting us up. They're setting us up for a huge, huge bond. Absolutely. And that will have to be countywide. Do you think they're going to use the user fees to fund that? To pay that back? That'll be a countywide yeah, project. It have to be. Yeah. You couldn't you could not then we're gonna be you back could to not the, fee your way to a fifty million dollar project. No. Even with a thirty year bond right. with the amount of customers that uh they have. Mm -hmm. There's no way. It's impossible. Yeah. Not with eight million dollars or four million dollars worth of income. Yeah, and then if they do do it, how many boxes can Southern Homes fill up the the rest of the land on the west side of the Water Re right. and right over around in the big uh, horse farms around Camden? Mm -hmm. Do you want to live in Columbia? Well, it's you're about to. Yeah. Oh, it's convenient. You got McDonald's right here. And another one across the street. Yeah, I hear somebody, <laughs> I want a Texas Roadhouse. I want this and that. Cook well, drive to damn state. Columbia. Yeah. Go to old you should have moved to Columbia right. instead of moving to Carthage County. Yeah, all these people moving out, they want to They go back to Columbia or Florence yeah. or wherever the hell you Yeah, they all want it. So let's see what Russell goes on to say. All right. Um. Oh, so, so... Just as you were saying, three to four months, or three to six months, rather, is our minimum. In the other fund, is is a is a bottom. What's our bottom in this sewer fund? What are we comfortable having as a minimum amount of money in case of emergency, that sort of thing? We I mean, we have a line break or whatever. I, I would say you would need probably at least six months in a sewer fund for a utility because if you have a, a major pump station or anything like that go down, you're you're not talking. A few thousand dollars you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars so i always tell people that are in the utility business not that you can't have too high reserves because you can but you you certainly need reserves because the older your system gets you're going to constantly have lines going out you got to replace lines and then you know if you've got a pump station that goes out or two of them go out th those are some major expenditures that um you don't want to have to go and borrow every time that happens. You want to be able to have reserves on hand that you can make those repairs. So, so this is like the chicken little approach. The sky is falling. Yeah. You know, well, well if, what if you have two pump stations? Well, shit. What if we? What if the whole damn yeah, what every if, line? What in the if the earthquake collapsed? happens and you yeah. know? Yeah. We've been having earthquakes <laughs> around lately, and. So, and Six months, let's say. How much is six yeah. months worth of emergency funds? Yeah, and that's what around. Russell ends up going and, and yeah. talking about. So let's hear. So I would say at a minimum you would need six months. So it's like $191,000 a month if I take the total operating expenses and divide by 12. So we, we would probably need a million dollars, roughly a million one, something like that, a million two. Hey, how strange. Um, probably at, at least... Okay. So I think my, uh, let's say a million and a half, right? Yeah. Let's say we do a million and a half in emergency savings. We're gonna we're gonna pay how much is was in the the account? Well, right now there's three point three in reserves, million. and uh, he says that we need a one point two in the emergency, mm -hmm. right? That leaves two point one million. That's crazy, man. That's almost like we have enough money to fund the Southern Loop Project in cash again. Yeah, without borrowing any money, whether it be 1.5% or not. So what is the rush to what get this What is money? the rush? Matthew, you get nailed it on the head. <laughs> it's boxes. That's right. Oh, we're going to get sued because yeah, we didn't see this yeah, coming. We're going to get sued over these It's an emergency. Now, so we need the it's an emergency. Yeah. That's what Julie Burns is. A, it's an emergency. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. And you know what Russell Brazel said when when Julian brought that up? This is an executive session, closed session. Julian Burns said that. We, we have to do this because we're going to get sued. Russell Brazel said, let them sue us. Okay, yeah. sue us. Yeah, sue, sue us. It. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> you what know? are you going to so, do? Uh, so then, you know, Russell and Jimmy voted against, voted no, like, 
screws great southern homes they want to sue us sue us but the other three of course the three are one you know well that, you know, that's what was critical in this uh leading up to this they knew brant wasn't going to be there absolutely they mm -hmm. knew russell wasn't going to be mm -hmm. there but mike would have called in yeah they, they they were planning on they jimmy were planning there. on jimmy being there mm -hmm. And they were planning on them three being there. Three, yeah. This was planned from the get-go. And as soon as Jimmy called in sick. Mm -hmm. Oh, we better hurry up. We need a holy yeah, throw crap. Throw a wrench in there, didn't Yeah. We? All right, let's see what Russell has to say. Let's, let's finish this up. Point is, we're taking money out of that fund that we're not sure where it went. $250,000. Um, we've got three point, what was it? Three, three point three. Three point three in reserves. So that basically would give us $2 million to spend on any kind of um, expansion. Um, do you think it'd be foolish to spend some of that money instead of taking this bond out? <laughs> and that's, that's a... Now listen to what this fellow says yeah. now. Uh, he's very question. careful. I wouldn't recommend it. As the administrator, I wouldn't recommend it with the, um, the our borrowing capability with this, this SRF loan. At, it's such a 1.6 percent. Um, it's it's through the 10-year life of the the loan. It's uh, $273,000 in interest. Um, $273,000 in interest. Uh, now, see, there, there, he, 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 as the just, administrator, yeah. Danny is is saying you, we can't beat the interest That's rate. That's pennies, man. Two hundred seventy-three thousand dollars. Yeah, That's it's a drop in the bucket. <laughs> well, that's a uh, that's a month and a half, mm -hmm. a month and a half of their uh, income. Income, yeah. They get a uh, hundred ninety-one thousand dollars a month. Yeah. <laughs> what well, we figure it was a hundred and forty two thousand dollars yeah profit per profit month per month so how fast could you pay two hundred and seventy three thousand dollars if months. you're only two months <laughs> and then yeah. and then the refund the refund the the money that we spent on the expansion what did it take two years we figured yeah why did they want to borrow well, that much to have that years. much in reserve I'll why? tell you why. Because there's another damn neighborhood coming right around the corner. There, and another one after that and another one after that. Yeah, yeah. They're moving. So then, so then we got Sammy. He, he comes up, and this is his justification for uh, the bond and all. Right. So hit it there, Sammy. Please. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Brazel, I, I, I'm tracking where you're looking at into this audit and in reference to what we have and it's roughly about two million dollars there uh, if you remember um, yeah you remember last um I it was last meeting a meeting before last as we were going down this i asked that question bless you was there any uh, penalties to pay it off early and we were told by the bond attorney no um i feel with the administrator um with the process that you have to go through the timing and the rate um, if you don't take advantage of this now, I think you would be blowing opportunity and draining our reserves there in the sewer fund down to a level that I feel unsafe as one governing person in this body. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have to take into account who's speaking here. All right. And I'm just going to leave it at that. <clears throat> I don't it's the rate right it's like you'd be it's like a mattress sales you're crazy to pass up these deals right you're yeah, crazy you must yeah. be crazy and he <laughs> said notice he says that because of the what you got to go through and because of the timing yeah in other words he's saying it's an emergency like yeah, if we don't we do it, if we don't do it right now you won't get this deep well i think i don't know if it's on here but somebody asked the question that's what that's what Russell asked. Is it, is it that's what again? Russell asked in here, and he and the the guy says, no. The it, the uh, bond attorney comes mm -hmm. up and says, no. Oh, right. well, you can do it at after because the first this year. loan was originally get awarded back in 2020. Yeah, it's been yeah. two years. It's been two years. What's another month? You know, and. Uh, 
I wonder, did the COG have any anything to do with this loan application or finding this loan or helping us yes. get this loan? Yes. Oh, that's weird, huh? Yeah. Uh, who, who, council the Council of Government, oh. and that's Julie Burns there you go. and Sammy Tucker. There you go. They Sammy's so been hard. on there since way back. <laughs> we worked so hard to get this money. Yeah, we worked so hard. You owe it, you owe it to us. It, yeah, and so they're pushing this agenda mm -hmm. right now, right yeah. now. Because they're scared that they that the new council will come in mm -hmm. and do it the right way, That's the right. proper way, and just have no need for the cog. And, and no need for the cog at all, mm -hmm. and rework the the planning and zoning hey, to right. where it does put more restrictions. A comprehensive plan, even maybe. Ooh, yeah. That's scary. Oh, great day. <laughs> Uh, do away with an industrial park or two. Whoa. Quit building spec buildings. Oh my God! What about the parks? Oh, maybe, the maybe park. they'll finish a park. Maybe they'll try to finish <laughs> it. instead of just buying it and putting yeah. some shit. Yeah. Put I don't know. The new council is probably going to go for recreation, uh, YMCA's and baseball fields. We'll see. Movie stars. We'll see. <laughs> I think we're ready for that fight if it comes. Um because lines and pumps break. This is an antiquated old system. Um, and it was given back to council in, in that condition. Um, and we've been working on it since I've been up here and even before I got here. So things come up unexpectedly and there's no way you'll get this bond rate or move through. You see how long it's taken us to get through the third reading uh, with My all goodness. the steps we have to take to process in time of emergency. In time so that's of emergency. Emergency. It's an emergency, It's Jeff. an emergency. Hey, hey, he got that from Henry McMaster and Donald Trump when they declared their emergency right. that still has not been sunsetted, <laughs> by the way. And, you know, it, it, so if, this isn't even the closing remarks for the day. This is just him trying to justify <coughs> putting the people of this county in debt to the state. Yeah. And it, remember what the Bible says. <coughs> The borrower is slave to the lender. Yeah. So he is putting us in chains, enslaving us to the state. Yeah, yeah, because right? it's 1.6%. Mm -hmm. The devil is offering 1.6%. Mm -hmm. If you do it be the devil not away, to take it, right? yeah, be stupid not to take this. It's the deal of a century. Well, because it's an emergency, that's what he's saying. We need to support this. I'm going to support this tonight. Yeah, yeah. Today. Yeah, because it's an emergency. Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Jones comes back at him with a little uh, taste of what's really going on. All right. Go ahead there, JJ. I thought Mr. Brazel was very sharp in bringing up some discussion. I understand he did not form an opinion, but he brought up some very interesting matters within just a few minutes that I think that council moving forward next year can look at or I would like to have the opportunity to at least do that before they go creating another debt because we do have an old system. There's going to be many, many things that needs to be done for the upkeep and the expansion. And yet there's not been a whole lot of exploring other options rather than, oh, we got a good bond rate. Well, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know that we won't have a good bond rate five months from now. Nobody can say that. But, you know, I just... I wish we'd slow down because I think in interest we're going to be paying how much interest in this by the time we finish paying for it? What's the interest rate, uh, Mr. Jones is asking? The rate. $270,000. $70, What's the rate? 1.6. 1. 1. 1.6. You can't do better than that. Uh, back to you, Mr. Jones. <laughs> yes. Huh? <laughs> you so can't they, do better than that. Yeah, they keep coming back to the 1.5. 1. Right. 1.5. 1. My car, 5. I got 0% on my car. Yeah. You can do better than yeah. that. Yeah. And what's the hurry? What's the hurry? Jimmy said that let's wait until the new council at least five times. Mm -hmm. At least five times. Mm -hmm. Russell agreed it should be the next council. It should mm -hmm. be the next Both council. Both of them are going on to the next council. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so... It, it, to make it to make it clear to everybody what what really tells everything what they're after is Sammy when he comes back and 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 says the reasons that this is going to happen yeah rewrite of the comprehensive plan and the CLTR and that is proceeding 
uh, which would impact zoning going forward in the future. So with that, we move to a vote. Mr. Jones, how do you vote? A vote no. Uh, Mr. All the others in favor, signify by raising your hand. Mr. Tucker, Mr. Gardner, Mr. Burns, and opposed here is Mr. Brazel. Uh, Mr. Brazel and Mr. Jones are uh, in the negative, in Mary. The neg so we had the vote and motion passes three to two. Thank you very much. Pause it right here. So I, ha I was talking to Brad Tomlinson on the phone when this vote was coming up. He was coming through TSA. And um, <clears throat> I said, call me back as immediately as soon as you get. Hurry up. Because Brant voted no on the second reading. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If he would have voted this time, I, t I talked to him on the phone just before we started recording. He would have voted no again. That would have been 3-3. Three, three. What happens to a tie? It dies. It dies. So I was sitting in the crowd with my phone in my ear. I leaned forward and told Danny Templer... I said, "Hey, we got uh, I got Brant on the phone, man. Can we can we get him to vote?" And he actually said it, but they they said no. We got to move on. I held my phone up. I got the man on the phone right here. He wants to vote, <laughs> and they just ignored me and kept carrying on. Yeah, they 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 had to have this have to pass. They had to because they made. I guarantee this is just me speculating. I guarantee they made some promises that they were scared that they weren't going to be able to keep. Yeah. Yeah, they, there were some dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Damn right. That's the whole point of this. Mm -hmm. is, and, and the fact that they are able to borrow this kind of money with just three people. Three people. Uh, 67, I mean, even there's four would be. 67,000 people in this county. 67,000. And, and three, three people put us in debt. just railroaded. Two point seven million dollars down in your, our throats. Yep. Obligated sixty-seven thousand people to do this. One thing that our next county council ought to do is pass their own ordinance that says we're going to put uh, put a, some kind of spending five hundred thousand dollars or more on any capital project has to go before the voters. Hey, that'd be great. If they did that. That's at least what we have voting as primaries. We had 16, 14,000 people voted, something like that, in the primaries. So, hey, 14,000 is better than four. Yeah. <laughs> what, what would have, would, would more people go to the poll if a referendum was on there about a million dollar bond, a fifty million dollar bond, a hundred million dollar bond, if they ca had to go before the 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 if they had to go before the people in a referendum yeah. for a brand new sewer plant, justify it. Justify would it. we vote for it? I don't think we would at this point. I don't think so. Not not Thursday. Not and I think that's on. why no they way. don't want to even discuss it. <clears throat> that's why they ramrodded it. Yep. And they were getting back at the voters. I believe so. For pu pushing aside their agenda. That, that's the way progressives are. Yeah. They, they go for revenge mm -hmm. because you don't believe in their do-goodness. Right. And they're the minority. The progressives like this... They're in the minority. The, the real disgusting thing about these people in particular in a council, that most of them say that they're Republicans or they're conservatives, fiscal conservatives and all that shit, but they're straight up pushing a Marxist agenda right in front of our faces, thinking we're too stupid to realize. Yeah, we've all come to realize that R and D don't mean anything. Nothing. The R and D is out to screw you and me. Right. And until we get realized that, and come in there and put the chains on them if this guy, new council is going to be under pressure to do things totally different than what they're doing now. Which is their mandate. It, it, that's their mandate. No, no more big government bullcrap. Yeah. People need to show up for the first meeting. No more bribes from the no. federal government. Yeah. No more deals for your friends. No more deals for what you're, yeah. No more, dirty deeds no more dirty deeds done dirt cheap. 1.6% yes. my ass. <laughs> this was fun, dude.
Yeah. New concept. We're trying a new way of doing things. Yeah, it's kind of rough and all, but, uh, yeah, we'll you know, we'll It'll go stumble around and maybe we'll get it right. So I hope you guys be, enjoyed it. This is going to be available on your face, your YouTube channel. Yeah, and, and we'll on, Rumble. on Rumble. And then we'll post links on Facebook. Um, and we'll share Hit the like on. button. Hit the, the subscribe mm -hmm. notification button. bell and all that crap that everybody always says. Yeah. And, uh, Help us you out. know. Well, let's get more people in Kershaw County involved in this conversation. You notice I'm holding my tongue. I'm not cussing as much. I'm not shit talking to anybody. Just keeping it. Look, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. We're all in the same boat. And, it's same and if we, we don't do something, <laughs> if we don't do something to protect ourselves from this government, mm -hmm. they're going to track, trace, and probably get your first young. Yeah. I mean, they almost got mine. Yeah. Luckily, he got out. Huh? <laughs> Quick as possible. So, thanks for watching, folks. Leave your comments. We'll read them. And try not to get our feelings hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Bye. And that some of you guys are going off uh, at the end of this month. Um, the people that did vote for you, which was the majority, that put you in his office, did not put you in his office to govern for three years and 11 months. We must continue the people's business as this agenda is outlined. But to stop governing just because uh, you're in your last uh, weeks of uh, as an elected official um, is not what you signed up for. And I truly believe in that. This is not Washington, D.C. where you are lame ducks. We're closest to the people as you can get here by being county officials and city officials and, and local elected uh, folks. So for those reasons, I will not support this amendment. Dirty deeds, stop catching. Dirty deeds.